In today's video, I would like to share with you some other Erasmus opportunities which you can do even if you are a non-European citizen. In the previous video, I've been explaining a lot about Erasmus Mundus Joint Master Degree Program and you might think that Erasmus Mundus is one of the few options uh, how to um, actually educate yourself and travel to Europe, but I will show you that there are a lot of things you can do with an Erasmus Plus. I have participated in many youth projects, uh, many trainings, I have been working for some NGOs creating other Erasmus uh, projects which I have uh, experienced from the like, uh, participation uh, side, but I have been also part in some conferences when I see how the projects are done from the institution side and point of view. And last but not least, I am the member of Erasmus Mundus uh, program, which all of those experience, if I put them all together, gave me decent overview of all the opportunities uh, which you can have from Erasmus Plus and, uh, and Erasmus activities in general. Still, so many people have no idea about what is offered to young people, but not only to young people, but also to youth workers or adults or even uh, business owners. There are so many things to do and I feel European Commission is kind of failing in promoting and communicating all those opportunities. When I was a student in high school, those opportunities gave me so much and they allowed me to travel, to educate myself and through those trainings and youth exchanges I was able to grow, to learn, to um, see people from all around the world and visit a lot of countries. Erasmus Plus is a program which supports education, training, youth and sport in Europe. European Commission is in charge of dedicating money to this Erasmus Plus and imagine that they have dedicated more than 26 billion euro to support green and digital transitions, social inclusion, promoting youth people's participation in democratic life. Those are the values for the period of, uh, between 2021 and 2027. But in general, uh, this Erasmus is promoting the mobility and the intercultural communication. You can pause this video anytime and just Google this information up. So actions available from 2021 are mobility project for higher education students and staff, classic Erasmus, mobility for learners and staff, mobility projects for young people, those are youth exchanges, mobility projects for youth workers, youth participation activities, cooperation partnerships, capacity building in the field of youth, Erasmus Mundus actions, alliances for innovation, forward-looking projects, and Jean Monnet actions in the field of higher education. These opportunities can support you if you are going to take part in those projects. As you can see, it's not always, it's never a traveling to Europe or to program countries just like that. You always have to have some purpose and usually it's education or uh, training or any work experience purpose. We have to be reminded two factors. First, are you going to search for projects and for opportunities as individual or as organization? And secondly, in which country or uh, is it you? Or your organization base. If you're going to look for Erasmus Plus on your own, which means as individual, you will have to anyway um, do probably the application through an organization which is already taking part in a program country. Uh, what does it mean program countries are the European member states and then some other states uh, very closely European Union like Norway or Institutions are usually education institutions, which might be universities or even high schools, youth organizations, associations or NGOs. If you're going to apply as individual, I guess that if you're already an organization or if you're a member of some organization, you already have a rough uh, uh, overview about the information. So I try to uh, specify this more for the individuals. And now it depends if you're going uh, to apply as a student, teacher, trainee, volunteer or youth work. But don't worry, 
Erasmus is available to all of you. If you're going to apply as a student or if you're a student, then you have a lot of opportunities to participate. You can do Erasmus Mundus, as I do, but you can participate in the exchange semesters, you can do some internship or traineeship. Even if you're not a student anymore, but you're a fresh graduate, which means finished your university um, maximum 12 months ago, by 12 months, you can also apply still as a student. If you're a staff, there are also many opportunities for you uh, and you can be in the educational sector, but you can be also in a sector of, uh, non, of uh, non, -educa non educational uh, sector. Erasmus can help you with education, with uh, further trainings, and it can support you um, through, through your job. But again, you always have to search for some um, common goal with your business or with your project and some project which is already in program country. Uh, other opportunities uh, you can have from Erasmus are study visits or job shadowing or observation periods at relevant organizations and much more. Now this has been very broad. Uh, what I would recommend to you at the moment uh, firstly, if you're searching for some opportunities, uh, be firstly clear with who you are at the moment. Are you a student? Are you fresh graduate? Are you already working in the field? Are you working in a private sphere? If you know this already, try to search in your country for some NGO, youth organization or any association and try to become a member. Uh, very likely you will be just volunteer. Uh, just you will be volunteer, but this is why many companies in Europe very much appreciated if they see in your portfolio that you've been volunteering and you've been doing something on a volunteer basis. Um, but what this will give you, it will give you valuable opportunities and network for future mobility and which can be benefited by Erasmus uh, program. Your organization will be probably already partnering with some organization in program country. If not, then nothing happened. You can still become a member of such organization and then you can search for potential partners for your project. Potential partners is uh, great to search on Salto, Salto website. In any case, if you feel a little lost, you can check out National Erasmus offices, which can assist you in, uh, in implementation of Erasmus Plus in certain partner countries. Partner countries are the ones which are not in Europe or European Union. They will provide you more guidance and more help and uh, which are specifically fitted uh, for your country. I will link them also uh, under the video. Even my friends are asking me, what is Erasmus Mundus? I thought it's just Erasmus Exchange. Erasmus offers so, so, so much and this video would last like uh, two hours if I would have to cover everything. But I wanted to kind of give you idea about what else you can do besides Erasmus Mundus. One thing important to note, if you are in Erasmus Mundus program, you are not allowed to get any, uh, to be part in any other uh, Erasmus funded project so for instance at the moment I'm not, el uh, not eligible to be part of some youth exchange I'm not a professional so all the information I have I have double checked on the websites I will link them so I cannot guarantee you any spot or any other further information than uh, which I have already read on the website I was just little lucky that I got to know people who are involved in Erasmus Plus activities years ago and since then I'm just like collecting more and more information. This has been everything for today. Um, I will be very interested if some of those projects and trainings and activities are interesting for you and if you're going to uh, search more not only about the Erasmus Mundus, but as, as mentioned, there are so many things you can do, youth exchange trainings uh, and internships and so on. I would be very curious where you're from and uh, for which project or which program are you applying for. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your messages and see you in the next video. Bye bye.